seperti Nabi yang bersalin Saya di nama Ahmad Ibu Adhan Ibu Sabi Al-Fan Yang mulia uh, The chairperson and the organizing committee uh, For this wonderful Brunei postgraduate Symposium, I can't even remember I have to read uh, Yang mulia Cik uh, Abdullah uh, And the rest of his team from the Brunei Students Union uh, Fellow colleagues uh, and, and I mean that Okay, uh, I'd rather you know, so recognize you as colleagues rather than, you know, students, because after all, uh, either within this year, next year, the year after next, you're all going to be working with us and might be working under you. So, I hope I'm not being <laughs> nice to me. <laughs> now, um, when I was first approached to do this talk, uh, I kind of a lot of things came to my mind because, as, as you, you know, rightly say, so we are undergoing a lot of changes at the moment, and of course, you know, change is such a taboo word in, in any sort of a organization, any sort of community you're in. Okay, uh, because you know, if you remain status quo, you're safe. If you change, you're getting out of people. You know, you're getting people out of comfort zones. Uh, so what I'm going to do today, uh, I'm not going to do an academic presentation. Do feel free to interrupt me at any time. I'll try and make it more kind of a, I don't know whether to call it lively game, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so I'm going to try this now. I thought your your, your topic was very relevant, uh, particularly if you look at my slides later on in the presentation that uh, we are actually moving towards exactly what your question is. Okay, I always teach medical students this. So if I don't, you know, sort of walk my talk, I think it's uh, it's wrong. Uh, and especially because one of my uh, faculty staff is sitting in the front row. Uh, I mean, I'm sure she'll be reporting back saying that, oh, Dr. Zulk's presentation was terrible. You know, there's no framework to his presentation, so and so. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a brief introduction, uh, and then. I'll try and attempt to answer why research is. I think I think we all know why research is important, so I won't bore you so much in that. And then where we are, the University of Brunei Darussalam. Uh, incidentally, we're 23 years old, uh, so we are still relatively young. Uh, but having said that, uh, national, not national university, Singapore Management University is only about seven years old, and they're already ranked. So why weren't we ranked? Okay. Uh, just keep that in your head. What our strategies are, and I try and come up with some conclusion. If I have time, I really want to show you a video later on, only if I have time. So can someone give me a 10 minute warning, not five minutes, huh? so I can go on. Uh, just to remind everyone, does anyone know about Wawasan 2035? Uh, I, I presume some people might have read it, uh, some people might know it in depth, and others might not know about it because you're so far away from Brunei. Okay? Um, Basically, uh, our Vision 25 states that by 2035, Brunei Darussalam will be known around the world uh, for its accomplishment of well-educated and highly skilled people, meaning you guys, okay, and future generations. Uh, number two, uh, well-known for its quality of life, and, and finally, the dy a dynamic and sustainable economy. Now, 2035, we are now 29. It's not really a long way to go. We're talking about what six no, 20, 16 years, twenty-six years, sixteen years. Yeah. So it's not it's not far off. Huh? Uh, and and I think we really need to work hard on this. Uh, this has been stated on numerous occasions by political leaders as well as you know uh, His Majesty, uh, reminding people that you know we want to achieve this. And I think as Bruneians we should really aspire to go for this. It's always nice to have a dream. Okay. I'm amongst my colleagues who know me very well. They think I'm cracko, Adam, because sometimes the things that I think about, you know, they think there's no way we can do that. But but actually, we can do a lot. Okay. Um, now, just a couple of slides on why research matters. A couple of things, really. I mean, I'd like to do, describe it at three levels. Firstly, at the national level, why research is important is because. You know, uh, it's important in the understanding of all aspects of our country's development. It's important for the economic development and national growth. For example, the energy sector. Okay, It's not good enough for us to just uh, you know, pump oil out of the ground, pump gas out of the ground. We need to refine the way we pump things out. 
and I'm sure you've read about the recent uh, uh, resolution of the border issues. Uh, uh, I don't quite know what the details. I've read it in the paper, but you know what the papers are like. Uh, no disrespect to our Brunei Times being representatives in any but but I think you know you really need to get it down to 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 the factual level to find out exactly what the res resolutions are and what its implication is to the government of Salam. Okay. Are we going to be able to still, you know, drill up more oil, or have the, you know, with all the respect, our neighbour Malaysian uh, sucked up all the oil through the Rangunya Bendi Lupi uh, pipe, whatever they use, you know, the, the, the technology that they use. Um, and then finally, for the enhancement of public services uh, such as education, uh, and we're all in the business of learning at the moment, and of course health, because without education and health. I think it's a little bit difficult for a nation to move forward. Okay, you need to have good health to move forward, not too healthy. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about myself. Okay. Uh, you know that little picture at the bottom of the room. Some of you might have seen that. Notice I got, I can get distracted quite easily. Uh, but <laughs> just to share with you, I, I quite like that picture because a little dropper. Uh, it could be anything. That's probably a, a, a tiny little globe you know, or a ball bearing. But the effect of that drop into the pond caused ripples. And this is what I'm hoping all of you in this room would be, okay? Uh, is is to, to create ripples when you get back. Or even now. Okay? If you can create ripples now, okay? Constructive ripples, please. Okay? Uh, and, 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 and you know, it is so, so challenging to be constructive. To be destructive. My six-year-old girl can do that, and she doesn't do that. So, so just bear that in mind. So, Karan, when we actually, I'm looking forward to listening to all this and uh, this presentation. Do be constructive with a lot of Karan. I, I have to say that I, I know Karan Kade, the committee will say that later on as well, because I, I feel there's a lot we can learn from each other. Um, at the institutional level, it is important. Research is important because it's all about that currency called recognition. Okay, uh, credibility. We need to be credible. Okay, UBD, ITB, UNISA, and of course you've heard of Kubu SB as well, uh, the University College. Even the schools, but you know we need to be credible. Okay, so so we need to research is important to try and you know, develop a profile for your institution. This the second one is very important. Research and teaching goes in hand, hand in hand. Sorry, research informs teaching, and vice versa. Okay, if you're going to be studying in a university where there isn't much research to inform the learning, then perhaps I suggest you move to another university uh, uh, because these are where we are heading towards now. Uh, and I know Barankale, you know, I can say that from my heart to heart, um, UBD uh, has been severely criticised for that in the past, and we're working very hard actually to move away from that now. Okay, for for so long we've been a teaching university. Now. But I think a teaching university on its own will not survive. Okay, we need to have research as well. Uh, and the third one is to fill, to fulfill the essential role of the university, uh, fundamentally to advance knowledge. Now, this is more of a, a selfish level now. Okay, but it's okay. It is important. You know, I, I would love to perhaps you know one day or maybe even now at the very least, some of you uh, are renowned for some of your work that you're doing. Uh, I was sharing with some of your committee members yesterday that some of your colleagues, uh, those in the science and technology field, will, will know about the various high impact journals. But already there is a Bruneian who's managed to publish as first name author in, in the journal called Science. So in SNT, science and nature are like, you know, uh, uh, I'll, I'll get down on my knees, you know, if, if I have maybe half of this room and I'm publishing you know, in, in, in science or nature, inshallah, I mean, you know, uh, and of course I don't know about the end of that. The, what's the end uh, for, for the humanity side? Uh, I'm sure there's some very other uh, big journals in that. Uh, so at the indiv individual level is to, to build uh, individuals' personal and professional development. To, to actually progress in, a, in, in an academic career, you need to publish, you need to do research, um, and, and you need to teach. Uh, and of course, the, the third thing that we do is what we call community service. So giving back. Okay, It's not about just bringing everything, you know, uh, not just waiting for the government or for Shell or other private organizations to give you money to do research or, or run training courses, but more importantly actually to 